how to build a bionic jetpack, but first... Get your template by clicking in the video or under the video or going directly to armortemplates.com where all of my templates are available. Here's your pieces all cut out. This is all 20 gauge mild steel. Some of the parts I have not cut out though, you can see I've got them marked but not cut them. This is a dishing stump, you're going to need this to round some of the parts. I also have a tutorial on how to make a dishing stump. Here we're beginning the rounding. Um, you don't have to use a rawhide hammer, but I find it's a little bit more gentle on the metal. It doesn't uh, scar it as bad as the regular hammers do. I want to get a, um, curves in both directions though, so I need a little bit more dishing on this piece. And this is the chest piece that goes in front of that piece. Um, it basically needs to mimic the same curves, so it should hug that piece uh, pretty, pretty closely but while still having a, a gap between them. Here you can see uh, this side has no planishing done at all and this side is uh, maybe 20 minutes of work planishing. You can see how much nicer it is. So don't be afraid of the dents, you can get rid of them. Um, you can see the back piece is a lot more flat than the, uh, the front piece is. That's because we need to build these uh, rocket pod things. You'll see later. Here I'm planishing again. This is an auto body hammer, a very flat hammer, which is very, very, very important to have as an armorer. Now before I go much further, I'm going to fit it to myself to make sure it basically fits. Um, of course, we're all different shaped, so um, you know you may need to trim these pieces, and I'll show you where to trim in just a minute. So you can trim right here on this spot, and you can also trim down here by your ribs. Um, you can have the pieces overlap, but you, you, since we're all different shape, you know, the template is only a, a guide at that point. Now I'm going to put a, uh, I guess you call it a half roll, um, anywhere that your skin is going to come into contact with the metal. So you want to roll this away from your skin, you definitely don't want that sharp metal near your skin. Also, I didn't show it in the video, but uh, the, everything on the inside of this thing has to be covered in some kind of foam or protective stuff. You don't want any of this stuff to touch your skin. Here I'm building the rocket pods. I'm not even sure what to call the things. I guess you call them rocket pods. Um, I have a piece of exhaust pipe and I'm just gently rounding this thing. Careful, careful not to kink it and to get a nice even shape. Now in the template I've included this circle and this is just a test to make sure that you've got this thing curved to the right degree. Once you've done that, go ahead and pop your holes or drill your holes. And then using a seamer tool, go ahead and uh, bend the tabs over. Looking good. And now I'm using a railroad spike and a hammer just to uh, round over the edge of this thing a little bit. You can see that this um, this one does not have it done, and this one does. It looks so much better that way, so I highly suggest, suggest doing that. But you can see we've got a problem. There's a bit of a gap here, um, a little bit smaller of a gap here, because you can see I've rounded the top of this. Now if you want to avoid doing that rounding and be easier on yourself, just cut these things a little bit smaller like you see here, but of course do that before you cut the metal out. But if you want to do it like I did it, you're going to have to use a dishing form or a dishing stump and uh, just uh, convince this metal to uh, be a little bit more rounded at the top. It does not have to be perfect, uh, perfectly lay against the back because as you put these pieces together, 
um, they will kind of bend a little bit and they it, it, it will just uh, it'll come together and look right you can see this is this side is done the other side is not and just plant it just like you would any other piece get it nice and flat now uh, tape these parts down and then mark this edge as you see me doing here so this is uh, where we're going to cut our holes um, to put these things through. Of course, I, I've made the hole a little smaller because you don't want to make the hole big. You want to make sure it's small because you can always make it bigger. You can't make it smaller. Cut those parts out and start trying to fit these parts in here. You can see I need to grind away some more. So I'm going to use the grinder, the grinding, uh, grinding wheel, and just uh, take, take away a little bit more of this metal. And make sure to file all your edges. You don't want any sharp stuff touching your skin. Uh, whatever finish you're going to do, do that now because these parts are about to go together. Um, starting out, just just drilling one hole. I've already marked it. I know where it goes. And I'm using uh, pop rivets this time. A lot more like an aircraft um, than my other uh, armor tutorials. So I thought it was fitting. Now, just one at a time, we're going to go go through, mark these holes, and drill them, and then uh, put pop rivets in them. And like I said, the metal will they'll, they'll they'll bend out of shape a little bit, and they'll start coming together and look perfect. This is the manifold piece that goes in between the the two rocket pods. I'm going to give give it a bend in the center, and then I want to put a curve going this way, and then an opposite curve on the other on the bottom side. So you can see, I'll show you in just a second what it looks like. That's the top side, and then I'm flipping it over and curving this side the other way. And now take the tabs that are at the ends and bend them inwards. And then we're going to drill out a few of these rivet holes because we're going to use the same holes to rivet in the manifold piece from the back side. And as you can see, this thing does not quite fit perfectly. Whoops. Just yet. So it needs a little more bending. And uh, so you're going to want to cut this piece out uh, a little bit big at first, um, and definitely in paper at first, because otherwise it may not fit exactly against your rocket pods. So now I'm marking that piece from the back, the manifold. And I've got holes done, holes drilled. And then uh, once I've got the copper piping in there, which is optional, you don't have to do that, of course. Um, now I'm just riveting it, riv riveting it in from the back and making the permanent, making it permanently secured. And I've got the uh, the copper pipe just kind of splayed open and hammered down to make sure it's held secure. Now I'm fitting the uh, the the front piece, the front chest piece, on top of the uh, larger chest piece and cutting the holes open with the uh, Dremel tool. And just marking basically where this fan is going to go and then cutting an opening big enough for the fan to fit inside. And the fan is just a regular computer fan a computer fan that I've painted with some uh, spray paint and I've cut these little tabs off the bottom or the, the sides so it'll fit in there uh, deeper. Now I'm just checking to make sure that the fan is not being interfered with. Now I've got these longer rivets once this piece is done and we're going to put this in here and uh, secure it but some of them you, you don't want to go too tight with it because you don't want to like uh, you know bend your chest piece out of the way so you might have to cut the tops off. Notice the curve I've got here in this piece and these just go in into the back. We're going to use these two rivet holes on each side. You're going to drill those out and then put new rivets in and rivet it all together. Here's some nylon webbing or strapping. And I'm using this to secure the front and back pieces together. And I'm using, um, I guess, four, four rivets per side. Um, over top of your shoulder here. So what it looks like from underneath. Uh, make sure to put some kind of foam padding or something in there. Here's uh, what holds it together on the sides. This is what I use for the fuel lines, ice maker water supply line. 
And these things, I don't know what to call these things, the end of the rockets, uh, whatever they are, just rounding them. And I'm using MDF, two pieces of it, to uh, build the bottom part of this rocket engine. As you can see, you're just drilling some holes and, and uh, nailing this thing down. And the rocket engines, you can build them however you want. This is a, a cut up old Dremel tool I had, some plumbing parts. You, the sky's the limit. You can make it however you want to make it look. To uh, simulate some heat discoloration, I use uh, purple and blue metallic spray paint. I hit the fuel lines with this too. I think it's a really cool effect. I like it. Now I've got the rocket engines done. Put it up in here and screw it in from the back. And you're finished. Don't forget to put your lights in. And there you have it, guys. Had a ton of fun building this thing. Um, definitely going up on display in my house. Um, and I was thinking too, I'm kind of inspired. Maybe I'll do the Rocketeer pack from the uh, from the movie. Um, if you guys really want to see that, let me know in the comments below, and I will recreate it in the video in real metal. I think it'd be a lot of fun, and I kind of want to do it. So uh, if you agree, let me know, and I'll uh, I'll do it. That is really hard on the knees. Find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash armor templates. Give the page a like. You can communicate with other armorers on there and, uh, and with me as well. Make sure to come to armortemplates.com where you can get all of these templates to make all this cool stuff and much, much more. If you like this video, please, please, please do me a favor and share it on social media. Share it on YouTube, share it on Facebook, anywhere you can. Please uh, help me get these videos out to as many people as possible. Anyway, had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Who's my good boy? It's you.